believe in that. Send me your comments and let me know what you think about the conversations we're having over here. Join Prime TV and we're streaming live on Facebook right now. Those of you out there who are, you know, tune in right now, you can tell those who can watch to also watch on Facebook because we're, we're streaming live over there. Kujo, everything good, bro? Blessed, blessed, bro. Nice one. I'm nice watching one. you do your thing. Yeah, you're, you're, you're dope, bro. Oh, <laughs> see this man. Oh, this man controls the whole of our crowd. Like, nah, nah, not like he this, controls man. our crowd by day on on radio, and then by <laughs> night he's controlling on stage as well. Charlie, Charlie, great Charlie, stuff, good, great Charlie. stuff. And congrats to you, man. You you've been doing Charlie, great for thank yourself. Thank you, thank you so mm. much. Um, it's it's been is I can I can never like uh, play down the how big of a point in my life this is because uh, a lot of the times you're so focused on I won't get there, I won't get there. Mm. And then in, in trying to achieve that, you forget that it's part of the journey to go through certain stages of yeah. your life. So this, this definitely is not a destination, but I'm happy that I'm on the journey to make That's it. That's very true. Yeah. Sometimes you just look at where you're going and you don't even know uh, how to be grateful for the processes yeah, you've been through, yeah. you know. Because we focus so much on the negativity. Exactly. Oh, I wanted it this way, I didn't get it. So it's like, oh, why I not get them? But you got something else and you're not even grateful for that. All right, that's what it is. So if you're watching us right now, Kojo is actually on YFM. Uh, he's, uh, he's been the uh, best MC for the Gandhi DJ Awards 2019. And uh, like I said, he's currently with YFM. And of course, he's on the drive of your life. It starts from Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, those of you who have not catch him yet, you possibly want to be doing that right now. And he's done a lot of events as well. I mean, he's been on the Ghana Meets Najat 2019 Tidal Ray Festival, uh, Shatawali's Rain Concert as well in 2018, uh, Lamem Gangster Crusade 2 3 2017 2018 manifestivities has been on that in 2018 as well and of course gun rocks in 2018 and a host of other things that he has done in terms of his uh you know mc in career so I, he's, I, he's an amazing I, I, guy I feel, like, I feel like the, the <laughs> <laughs> so so this is the thing about that information a lot of it the last time it was updated was maybe close to two years ago oh is it and there's so much there's this, been was new ones. this was before lockdown yeah so it's been so much vodafone uh, virtual concert afrochella mm. there's been so much that's happened i also won uh, event type man of the year at the ghana event awards awesome you know, all of those things I know we need to chip them in. We need to make sure they all find the way inside. <laughs> yeah. somewhere. I know it's very there. necessary, yeah. but I'm excited. Let's talk about this journey of music and, you know, doing what you do yeah. as well. Yeah. You know, how are you putting all of that together? How are they shaping up? Um, it, for, me, for me, it's quite seamless. Um, for anybody that's in the field, you realize that there's, there's so much people don't understand about how uh, complicated a job can be Is it? Um, yeah. when it comes to your timing. Uh, the time you have to even get up to be here yeah. and all of that. So when you do it, there's always, uh, you find refuge in music. Most of the time. Sometimes the job can be a little tough, especially mm. when you're emceeing or stuff. Or maybe on radio, it's a little tough. But there's always, radio is like, uh, music is that part that gets you excited. So I've always been a fan of music. Mm. Um, I can take it back all the way back to the crank era. Like, I, I'm not going to make it seem like I'm so old to that point where it's like I know yeah, he's the young guy. He's a young guy. Yeah. <laughs> but it, no, but the crank era is when I started to pay attention to music because you grow up uh, on the Daddy Lumba and all those people. Yeah. And then you're a kid, so it's like you hear it in the background. And even though it's nice, you can't relate to it as much as you can relate to what was the ish when you were growing up? Mm. So um, I always had that feeling, even before DJ Khaled was DJ Khaled, to do stuff like that. And mm. um, it's awesome to get to that point where I'm able to do it. And that has given birth to, to a different, different, you know, wave, beautiful yeah. song you put together and yeah. it's waiting. Yeah. And it features yeah. Kelvin Boy and uh, Neptunes on that one as well. Yeah. Okay, so Neptunes has been, you know, doing this, the piano thing that's gone worldwide. He was yeah. in Ghana a couple of uh, weeks ago. Mm. And um, it, wh wh how did it come about? Do you guys recall this when he was out there or when he came out? Yeah, we recorded this way before he came to Ghana. Okay. Um, the story of how we even started working was kind of funny because um, I started hearing about the Ameno song. Yeah. It wasn't even his version. It was a hip hop version yeah. that I was in love with. And uh, we've been playing it on radio for a couple of days. And then after that, I heard I'm, uh, I'm a piano version. So I'm like, oh, this is dope. Mm. And at this point, it wasn't the biggest thing yet. Yeah. So I was like, who made this? And I found out that, oh, it's a Ghanaian. So I reached out to him to congratulate him that, oh, Charlie, the Ghana man way this for there. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, but I know you. And I'm like, how do you know me? He's like, oh, we're on campus together, University of Ghana oh, together. And I was like, oh, wow. It's like, oh, I started playing on my piano back then when nobody cared about my piano. Mm. That's how long he has been on that. 
So that's when I was like, oh, then let's work together. Yeah. So um, I had in mind to create a song that would be only Ghanaians, but was at my piano because um, when it comes to the club life, uh, events like I'm a piano and branch that I've been hosting and the nightlife front back and other places, you realize I'm a piano is a big thing. Mm. It's something that people don't want to accept, but when you go out there, you realize how big of an influence yeah. it is and definitely had an influence on me. So I wanted to create one, but make it Ghanaian because sometimes you don't understand the elements because it's not necessarily our language yeah. and all of that. So I had to make it Ghanaian and okay. that's why I thought of who's the best person to do it. So we made a beat for Kelvin Boy mm. and hoped that Kelvin Boy would like it. And he was absolutely in love with it. And oh, yeah, that's, I see. That's... And he's waiting. I'll find out why he's waiting, though. But we've got <laughs> the video. I wanted to take a look at it. When we come back, we've still got Kojo Manuel here in the studio with me. We'll be finding out why uh, waiting. Maybe he's waiting for something special. We need to know about that. Ask him about that. But let's take waiting, though. Uh, because we, we won't blow. We didn't wait for the blow, and the blow, no, they come. <laughs> so I was thinking you were waiting for your, your, your wedding. It finally happened. So oh, the wedding, waiting for too wedding long. will happen, it will happen. Hey, it will happen, hey, you hey, know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Kevin Boy is really talking about mm -hmm. um, that feeling where you're, you're waiting for a lady. Well, the lady in question, when you meet Kevin Boy, go you ask him. Okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> but he's, trying to, he's waiting for the lady. Um, mm -hmm. The lady finally comes. And I don't know how many guys have experienced this. She comes and it's like, finally, oh, you're yeah, here. Yeah. Let's spend time together. And then the smallest thing takes her off. And she's like, nah, I'm going back. I'm going home. That's it's like, can be it's like, yo, but yeah. I've been waiting. Like, yeah. don't go. You're the reason why I'm here. Yeah. Like, it's just me and you, no phone. Yeah. Like, nothing, no distractions. It has to be me and you. That's what. <laughs> so, okay, so. <laughs> it's Kelvin Boy's idea. Why is putting the whole idea on a piano right now and making it a global jam? Make sure you go check it out. And so, uh, for that's the explanation from uh, Kojo Manu's perspective. We're going to find out yeah, from yeah. Kelvin Boy's perspective as well and yeah. see if the two of them will tally because maybe someone is doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what, what are we expecting? We're we expecting more of uh, songs like these from you? Oh, you yeah, know, definitely. Like that? Definitely. Um, uh, like I was saying earlier, is there's um, a lot of things that a lot of us, like dreams that people have. And this has always been one of mine. And that's why I'm really excited about this. And this is just to really, this is like a new beginning. This is actually my fourth song. Mm. Uh, but this feels like a new beginning. This feels like it's my first song. Mm. Because there's so much uh, I want to do. There's so many artists. So definitely, even before the end of the year, I'm looking at dropping two more songs. Okay. Before the end of, at least two okay. more songs before the end of the year. And they always, they all have to be like top notch. Mm. Because I'm working with artists that I'm a fan of. Yeah. So if I'm not a fan of you, then maybe you have to come to the table with something special because at this point, Charlie, we don't know if you go back. Of course, of course. And so I'm happy that I, I got to kick off with uh, someone like Kelvin Boy because mm. I think he's one of the most underrated artists. Like, forget Down Flat. Mm. He's one of the most underrated artists in yeah. Ghana. No matter how much Great accolades talent. you can give Kelvin Boy, I feel it's not enough. Because yeah. he's done so much in the past. Even that before wasn't, Downflat, Even before, yeah. yeah. So, and uh, Neptunes is also one of those people that suffered from you know doing the work and not being appreciated yeah, and then that. getting lucky enough to make a record that went global and now everybody's like oh you're Ghanaian oh you're one of us now yeah. you know so yeah we need to appreciate our artists more I'm sure I mean for him personally I'm sure he never even saw this coming I remember mm. when Don Jazzy posted that video and mm. was talked about yeah. as the first good person in Ghana here to interview yeah. him on that issue mm. you know and then when he came out he was like okay yeah, yeah, yeah. he thinks that he's supposed to be getting that recognition but he's not getting but he knows that he's definitely going to come at yeah. a, a different time so he didn't see it coming like the way so fast like it did yeah and now look at it I, I think the special thing about him was he he did actually see a lot of potential in that song. Of course. Yes. Yeah, but yes. aside that, it's, it's it's sad that we have so many, like uh, Nana Bain that you were talking yeah. to, and a couple of other people that are doing amazing things, but we seem to be fixated on two, three, four artists and that we it. talk about every day mm. uh, for a couple of months, and then it's like there are other people that are doing so many yeah. amazing things, and we just refuse to accept that, oh, you are doing something. You yeah. have to kill yourself for years or have 
Nigeria or South Africa or America big you up before the whole world goes like, oh, you're one of us. Amare is an example. I can go on and on. Yeah. yeah, so. I see. We're going to get there. I mean, quick one before we go. Mm. Um, your take on the Grammys and what we're doing, I mean, it's something that we can now get some more names in there. You think um, it's possible? Um, I, was, I was speaking to CT yesterday, who was um, on uh, Black Coffee's album that won for electronic, electronic and dance yeah. music category. And I realized one thing, that even though we are very into the high life and the Afrobeat, that is our sound, mm. to get into the Grammys, just like the VGM, there's, there's something to it, there's a scheme to it. Yeah. You have to file nominations, you have to do certain things. And also there are so many categories that we can get into. Mm. So we shouldn't be restricting ourselves to Afrobeat mm -hmm. or let's say rap or dancehall or something. But then anything that you want to do, just yeah. make sure you're having the world in mind and you're being original. Because I would say that we can't be more gangster than an actual gangster. No. So if if you're trying you to create, fifty cent to you can't be fifty cent to like what? <laughs> yeah. So if you pick anything, do it and be very original about yeah, yeah. it. If not, then it wouldn't turn the heads it's supposed to turn, and, and and that's why we're suffering. That's why a lot of people will look at artists like Walasi, Amare, uh, Sina. So artists that we don't give the the mm, biggest we yalla. To. We yalla. Oh, yeah. thank you. We yalla. Those are the people that would make uh, a Grammy board feel like, oh, that's different. Mm. Because a lot of the things that we put out there are very similar to what they experience in the Western world. Mm. And even Afrobeats is now becoming very ordinary to them. Yeah. So what are we adding? What are we doing to show that it's actually ours? And we are not like diluting it so much that now it feels like, oh, that's the same thing we already yeah. know. What's, what's special about yeah. it? Why so do you deserve it? If they want an award, they would rather look at the one who has done that in their country that yes, are awarding that, you who exactly. is copying from them so, mm -hmm. sort of yeah. yeah anyway now put your social media handles there let them follow you where they can get the songs to stream the yeah. video where they can watch and everything yeah so uh the song is waiting is on all platforms apple music spotify audio mac soundcloud everywhere uh kojo manuel kelvin boy Neptune's waiting uh, the video is out on YouTube. It's been out for about four days. Shot by Akwadena Me. It's a very dope one. Go there and run the numbers. Uh, my handle is K-O-J-O-M-A-N-U-E-L. Kojo Manuel on all platforms. Instagram. Verified on Twitter. So it's very easy to find. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> very, very and easy. <laughs> very, very easy. It's very fast. So it's very easy. You know. All right. Go, go, go yeah. follow the right people. <laughs> Scammer, so we don't want trouble. <laughs> anyway, bro, yeah. congrats to you and Thank you so uh, thanks much, for making bro. time this morning. Appreciate Thank it. Sure. Keep on doing your thing. We, mm. we love what you do mm. and we're definitely going to be here to support her any day. I mean, and, and before I go, um, I just want to say that th there's this thing that I've been saying whenever I do events that happen by accident that people have been saying. Uh, it's called Are You Mad? And uh, whenever somebody hears it and they don't understand the context of it, they feel like it's offensive. Yeah. But um, Are You Mad is just basically. Or like you woke up this morning, uh, so you won't get up and go and find Ridiculous. money. Are you mad? Are you mad? Like are you, you're out to have a good time, but you are sitting down on your phone. Are you mad? Like you are struggling here in Accra. You won't find ways to yeah. to make sure that your parents are proud of you. Like are you mad? Like yeah. there are things that we do that are the opposite of what we're supposed to do because we're frustrated. But if somebody, anybody stress you with negative vibe, mm. that's it, bro. Mm. In this positive world, this 2022, are you mad? <laughs> 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 all right, so it's, it's not offensive now, you know. All right, so when you hear it anywhere, you know, yeah. don't take it personal. All yeah. right, it's just for you to be motivated to do what you have to do to make sure you're yeah. living life. It's very important, bro. Once again, thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Thank Please so make much. sure you go out there and check out Waiting. Uh, you've seen the video, it's on the digital platforms. Go stream it. Let's make sure we we'll put our Ghanaian people out there. That's all we have. All right, MF5.